Hi there, I'm Meteorologist Chicago Windler, and I'm also pleased to tell you the freezing temperatures, the record cold, all behind us. It now looks as though we're going to see a nice warming trend, 70 degrees by later this week. We also are tracking the first rain of the year. All right, let's start with the cold and get this out of the way. 12 this morning at ABIA was the coldest for January 7th. The new record low, the old one, 17 set back in 1970. Also, just so happens it tied the fifth coldest temperature ever in the month of January out at the airport. Camp Mabry hit 22, no record there, but certainly cold. And here's some good news. Low temperatures by morning, about 36 degrees in Austin. Most areas staying just above freezing, unlike our neighbors to the north, still dealing with that bitter cold. Look at this. Sub-zero temperatures continue across parts of the northern plains and upper Midwest. All right, so your five zone forecast for Travis County by morning temperatures probably going to be warming up after reaching 32 to 36 degrees between about 4 and 5 a.m. I think we'll be rebounding into the upper 30s by sunrise. Williamson County, your pre-dawn lows likely to be around 33 to 34 degrees. Might be a brief light freeze in a couple of those lower valleys. In the hill country, morning lows could be as cold as around 32 for Lano and Fredericksburg. Cloudy skies, a big difference over those teens you've seen the last couple of mornings and in Hayes County around 34 degrees out toward Kyle. Finally in the plains look for some drizzle to develop by morning. Temperatures generally going to be starting off your day in the mid to upper 30s. As for rain we haven't had any measurable rain since back on December 21st. Here on Future Track by 3 a.m. there could be a spot shower out in eastern Fayette County maybe in Lee County heading toward College Station. Overall looks like just patchy drizzle and a stray shower here or there. The general trend with the heaviest concentration of rain setting up east of I-35. In the Austin area there might be a passing spritz or sprinkle or some patchy drizzle. Heavier rain potentially some scattered showers by afternoon out east through Bastrop, Giddings, Thorndale, LaGrange. And we could see a few more showers work their way even toward the Austin corridor by the time we reach the midnight hour in Austin for Wednesday night heading into Thursday morning. And Thursday could see some decent rain. College Station down to Bastrop, San Marcos to New Braunfels. At this point though, I think the best opportunity for rain area-wide will be coming in on Friday. That's ahead of a cold front. We could even see a couple of thunderstorms potentially develop. So how much rain? Your best bet is Friday, an 80% chance. On Wednesday, I'm thinking most areas see less than a tenth of an inch. It may not even rain at all in most of the hill country. Thursday, still around a tenth of an inch, best chance east and southeast of Austin. Friday, a quarter to a half an inch possible. That will be something good because we have not seen much rain and of course those lakes are still low. Also playing on some patchy fog each morning, and it's going to be dreary and cloudy, but at least warmer too. Notice no freezing temperatures for lows and nice mild high temperatures as well. We could hit 70 on Friday, could see low 70s on Sunday. And though I do have two cold fronts on the map, one late Friday into Saturday, another late Sunday into Monday, both of these are not Arctic in nature. So behind them, the air, not all that cold. So enjoy the warm up while you can. Looking through the crystal ball next couple of weeks at this point, I'm seeing fairly mild weather to stick around. See you later, cold.